In the next section of the data entry form, you're going to enter the real estate tax information. Taxes work the same way as operating and common area maintenance charges do. You can do gross deals or net deals. Here's how it works. So for real estate taxes, you can do gross or net. We'll start with gross. Base year is going to be 2006. The increase occurs every January. The building base amount is going to be $4. We assume it increases at 3% and the tenant base is $4. Again, just like Escalation 1, it will always start in the year after the base year, in 2007, in January of 2007. We take $4, we increase it by 3%, so it's $4.12, subtract the tenant base of $4, and from, for the calendar year of 07, this tenant owes 12 cents a foot a year. Click on Go to Reports, go to the cash flow, you'll see there's a line item for real estate taxes, and it shows all the increases over the $4 base. Notice that in the first year, you're seeing increases because the tax increase begins in January of 07. This is year ending date is May of 07. If you were to negotiate, the tenant didn't have to make any tax payments for the first 12 months. Click on Go to Data Entry, go to your real estate taxes. You'll see the button at the bottom, Abate All Costs in the First 12 Months. Put a check mark here. When I go back down on my cash flow, you'll see all my tax expenses in the first 12 months have disappeared. Click on Go to Data Entry, go back to my real estate taxes. If you're doing a net tax escalation, click on net, leave this box blank for a net escalation. So we'll hit the delete key. The increase occurs in January. It's a $4 building base with a 3% increase. Leave this box blank for a net escalation. Hit the delete key. I will have costs in the first 12 months. Click on go to reports, go down on my cash flow. Here's my real estate tax cost, $4 starting day one, plus any future increases. Go to data entry, back to my real estate taxes. Nothing like a good copper and horsehair brush to clean out the base of your ski. I give you the ability to break taxes and operating out separately in case you want to increase them at different rates or start them on different dates. If your taxes and operating start on the same date and you want to increase them at the same rate, you can just lump it all up in Escalation 1 and call it Taxes and Operating and put in the combined base amount and leave the tax section blank. If you want to break them out separately, ProCalc gives you the ability to do it. Unfortunately, on this DVD, I don't have enough time to show you everything you can do with a tax escalation. So if there's anything you're not sure of how to do in ProCalc with real estate taxes, click on help, you know how to get our phone number. Pick up the phone, call us, tell us what you're trying to do, and we'll show you how to do it. Because as you know, there is nothing that ProCalc can't do anywhere in this country, I guarantee it.